you guys excited to be here? Yeah. 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 Uh, it was really inspirational to see so many people interested in the data. Um, it was really cool to see Zurich on the Skype. Um, it's fantastic. So many people, some you know, so many time zones away can be participating, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the results. And um, I guess really, it's just inspiring to see everyone involved. That's what I take away. Um, I've seen a co cool apps on iPad even, or on their uh, laptops, and they're really diving into this data and making some good use of it. Um, already a answering some policy questions and operations questions I had uh, from a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. at Swissnext, and I think people are in the right direction. Um, and of course, it's really artistic too, which is great. So it's, it's beautiful visualizations, and uh, they're really attacking the data, which is fantastic. Hi, I'm Juan. Uh, I'm here with a group of students from UC Berkeley. We still don't have a team name, but uh, we'll come up with that later. But uh, what we're trying to do is to work on uh, assessing the reliability of, uh, of bus service. And uh, let my mic continue. Yeah. Well, uh, we're dealing now with the database to generate the proper information that we are going to visualize. And here our teammates are working on the visualization, and they already have something, uh, a, little, a small prototype of showing the... Uh, can you show the lab? Yes. Um, yeah, I hope it'll show up on the camera, but we're just trying to get... Uh, this is just uh, for a line, trying to show um, how far off schedule they are uh, with the different size of circles. Still got some bugs to work out, obviously, because the circles aren't centered properly in their containers, but... That'll be the idea. Who came up with the idea? So, yeah. Our team name is Erdacha for Urban Data Challenge, and um, we are interested in looking at 3D visualizations of um, transit networks to kind of try to visualize and solve. Sorry, well, I don't have that. <laughs> Uh, we, we want to visualize how um, the buses actually interact on the network um, and possibly solve transit efficiency issues like um, bus bunching and gaps. Um, so one of this, one of the ways we're doing this is through this 3D map, which shows the dominoes, which are buses, the ribbons underneath, which are routes, um, and underneath. These are actually the stops, so we're going to try to make this a, a more sophisticated way of, of seeing how buses go through a city um, within a day. What well, um, we've been working on together is a way to, in a sense, abstract um, the surge of uh, ridership on the bus system. So basically, to be able to see it in a visual way how the uh, surge of um, passengers from the extremes sort of like migrates towards the center at the beginning of the day and how it moves to the exterior. In a sense, to kind of capture kind of, as you put it, sort of the heartbeat of the city. Right. Um, so it's not so much a tool for navigating the city or anything like that, but it's more to appreciate kind of where the, the people who come downtown every day are, where they're coming from, and uh, when they're leaving, and, and, and in a sense, capture in an abstract way that sort of throbbing effect Absolutely. of the downtown. The of the city. Yeah, and so, you know, we're looking at data of, of headings, of volume of people moving, um, and uh, actually it's sort of the distance. So it's snapshots in time, kind of repeated in the cycle, and uh, that's how the display is supposed to work. Our project is going to be looking at trying to understand how people can get where they want to go in San Francisco. So what we want to do is create uh, basically a heat map of saying, all right, I'm going to choose one place in San Francisco, let's say where I live, and I'm going to see how long it takes me to get to uh, different places around the city. So really the goal is to look at three cities and you know, make inferences about transportation problems or successes and then apply that to San Francisco and look at ways um, to show frustration in a way that's meaningful to a viewer of the map so that they can make decisions. For instance, it's easier for me to walk or maybe I want to take a different bus line you know, based upon this frustration index.